Australian Islamic scholar admonishes Muslims for abandoning jihad. In a recent fiery sermon in Sydney, Australia, uh, Australian Islamic scholar Wissam Haddad, also known as Abu Osaid, passionately condemned Muslims for allegedly abandoning jihad. In his sermon, he lambasted Muslims for reportedly doing nothing while other Muslims were being killed in Kashmir and Palestine. He lashed out at Hindus and Jewish people, claiming that Muslims are being killed at the hands of the worshippers of cows and monkeys, and the Muslims remain silent. Okay, this next statement. YouTube, these are not my views or our views. These are, I'm reporting on the comments of another person. Turning to Israeli Jews, he referred to them as the descendants of quote-unquote pigs and monkeys. Ibn Usain implored Muslims to emulate Prophet Muhammad's companions, asserting, as I said, my dear brothers, the companions are known to be worshippers at night and warriors by day. So let us follow their way as their way is the best of ways. Abu Usaid later claimed on his Instagram post that he received death threats after referring to Hindus as worshippers of cows and monkeys in his sermon when Memory published it on April 14th. In a different video, he mocked the Hindu community by eating a burger and saying that he doesn't want beef with anyone. Um, is this guy a big deal? I looked him up on Instagram and he didn't have that big of a following. Mm. So he realized surprised. that he has to say crazy stuff like this so that he gets more attention. Maybe. Maybe. This is his I want to quickly look up. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the speech. Um, it was posted okay. on a YouTube channel. Okay, I want to see how big this YouTube channel is. One second. But you can... Uh, Play that video if you want. Yeah, I want to see. They openly threaten Muslims. They openly swear to invade our lands of Mecca and Al Medina, inciting one another to do this. And we sit idle. Oh, let's. Oh, the whole thing is two minutes. Let's watch it. Okay, okay. Oh, Umar of Muhammad, come alive. Kashmir is bleeding. Muslims are being killed at the hands of the worshippers of cows and monkeys, and the Muslims remain silent. Hindus today openly threaten Muslims. They openly swear to invade our lands of Mecca and Al Medina, inciting one another to do this. And we sit idle, even afraid to speak up against them. Our beloved goods cries out. Up year after year, as the Israeli forces, year after year, invade the Al-Aqsa, especially in Ramadan. And they oppress the Muslims in this month, yet the Muslims remain idle. The Muslims of, pa of Palestine, Palestine cry out to be saved from the descendants of pigs and monkeys, but no one responds. The issue of Palestine will never end with humanitarian aid alone. Ibn Umar radiallahu an, he narrates from the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to which he said, when you partake in usury, the interest, and hold to the tables of cattle, become satisfied with cultivation, and you abandon jihad, Allah will send upon you humiliation, and will not remove it until you turn back to your deen. As I said, my dear brothers, the Sahaba were known to be worshippers at night and warriors by day. So let us follow their way, as their way is the best of way. My dear brothers know that one of the reasons why the Mongols were able to defeat the Muslims, and even though at that time we learned and we have been told that this was the golden ages of al Islam, where the Muslims at that time were able to excel scientifically with so many things, so much so that we celebrate the glass or the camera today, saying it came from them. One of the things that led to their destruction is that they spent so much so much time in their books and they oh my God. fighting in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Reading books are bad, apparently. Yeah, right. I go to jihad, stop reading books. 
All right. Well, that was not good. <laughs> Chad Jihadi versus <laughs> average book enjoyer. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, but here's the thing. So I just looked up their YouTube channel. They have like less than 500 subscribers. The actual video that this lecture came from has less than 300 views. So it doesn't seem like he is a big deal. I don't know. I don't even know. So this the this video and this translation came from memory, which is I can't was like heavily Israeli biased. Um so they, what do you what, think about them going and finding people who say these things and then blowing them up and holding them up as an example when they actually have a pretty small reach? Like is that disingenuous? Um, I mean, um, as long as we keep it in context and we understand how widespread this is, we need to hear these things. So I think, I mean, the translation, I mean, I only need to translate some parts of it, not the whole thing. Most of it was in English and the translation was accurate. It's good for us to know these, these views exist. I mean, these views do exist and they are, they might not be the majority, but they are widespread. So I do think that they need to, it, it is like, a common belief between many groups of Muslims, you know, like, for example, if you just talk to average Muslims, many of them do ascribe to these views. So it's good for people to see that these views do exist. I think it's a good service. Yeah. Yeah, because memory has been criticized as an organization for being disingenuous in the way that it covers the statements of extremists as being more widely representative than maybe they are. So I just, it's just something it to think about. It doesn't claim how widespread they are. It doesn't have. It doesn't come with, and no. It doesn't come with a number. It's just telling, showing you the video. But you could also note that these these kind of sermons are common in many um, environments among Muslims, and there's no backlash to it. Like you could see how common it is because, like, the, if if this was not common, there would be a backlash from the Muslim community. Or like, oh my God, why are you calling them the descendants of monkeys and pigs? But nobody, nobody there has a problem with this because they agree with it. Yeah. In fact, I went to go look at this guy's Instagram, and not only did he, he actually two hours before I looked at his um, Instagram yesterday, he had posted an edited vi version of that speech. You know, with like B roll and images and stuff. So he's. He has no problem with saying it again, putting on an Instagram again. And there was not a single person in the comments who, yeah, yeah. was like, or, I mean, maybe they were deleted if anyone gave him negative feedback, but there was no negative feedback in those comments of the video that he proudly reposted. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, these are, I think the people who are saying they, they are disingenuous, they actually, they are the ones who are downplaying how common this is. I think they don't know how common these views are. That's why they think might, they, they might think that this is overrepresenting them. I think the people who, mm. are, who, who are, in fact, when I think the people who are shocked by these comments, they're the ones that are not in the know. These are very common beliefs among many Muslim circles. Um, yeah, and they are saying this is what they do. Uh, who would cover it if not them? Well, like, yeah, these would completely go under the cover if they weren't mm -hmm. highlighting it. No, I, I'm just saying this because I think it's important to be critical of our sourcing. Yeah, so Oxymoron is saying, well, Atheist Republic can be accused with similar allegations against Indians, so not as a not as a huge deal. Sort of agree with Armin. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I hope you're saying that that would not be accurate about us. I think we have done a really good job. I think I have done a very good job every time that we talk about Hindus and um, Indians or Muslims to be like, hey, not all. I think I've been very responsible about this. I, I, am, a, I am very sensitive about making sure that we're not painting everybody with the same brush. So I don't think this accusations would be fair against me. Like, let me guys, let you, guys, let me know if you think that. Because I will take feedback from you guys if you think I've done. Um, if we're not fair here, like if you guys think that we are doing the same thing, we we're open to feedback, right? Oh, totally. Yeah. All right. Can we move to the next news? Wait, but do we have some? I think, oh wait, no, no, we have so super chats. Uh, Marvel. Wait, is this the first super chat by Marvel? 
Yes, this Marvel just this is the first super chat Marvel has given us. Thank you so much, Marvel. So, guys, if you, if it's your first super chat, I will see that it's your first super chat. I will tell you, uh, first super chat to us. I will tell you that thank you for using the first uh, the super chat function for the first time. Marvel is saying, do you know Hindu texts mention many LGBT post stories? I didn't know there were yes. many. I knew that. It really, I knew they existed. I didn't know that there were many. Are there many? There's lots of gender bending, and then they go have babies with each other in different genders. Okay, yeah, yeah, the tea part, I know. <laughs> but the is is there a lot of lesbian stories? Like, is which point I I would be interested in lesbian stories in? Uh, or gender, less mostly gender so. Bending. It's mostly like Shiva or Vishnu becoming a woman and then getting pregnant by the other one. It's a lot of that. <laughs> or like becoming well, a woman because it's like, it's it's a strategy for a plan. Like they need to deceive someone so they become a woman and then they execute the plan. <laughs> yeah. I would be more interested in goddess on goddess action. If they have stories like that, I would be a customer. Um, D is saying, and we report both sides. Yes, we do. We do. Yeah. When there are sure. attacks on Hindus, we report it as well, right? Um, we, report, we report on a lot of attacks on Hindus, unfortunately. You highlighted this one? Oh. Because <laughs> in the video, the preacher talks about how Hindus are saying that they're going to invade, openly saying that they're going to invade Mecca and Medina and they're not doing anything about it. And he's talking about the hate monger Yati Narsinganand. And... It's so, it was just so funny to have our local Hinduva being like, I, as Hindutva, personally oppose the invasion of Mecca and Medina. <laughs> mm -hmm. This yes. is not representative yeah. of us. It's good to know. It's good to know. It's not all. Hashtag not all Hindutva. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.